This is a really good way of making fried okra so that it's very crispy, tastes really good. I'm going to share this recipe with you. I've already cut my okra. I'm putting it in self-rising cornmeal, as you can see here. So you put it in the cornmeal, you mix it up. I've already got my oven preheated at 170 degrees to bake the okra. So once I get it coated really good with the cornmeal mixture, I'm going to transfer it to my pan over here. This is a really great way to do it. I'm going to transfer it to my pan. I prefer I prefer using stoneware. That's just me. Sorry, I'm having an issue with my glove coming off. Okay. All right, so we're going to lay the cornmeal onto the pan so it's nice and smooth. I'm going to get it on there. Lay it out. Once I get it all out of the cornmeal, all right, put a few more pieces in there. This, for frying it, makes it super crispy. So you lay it out on your pan, all nice and neat. Just so it's laid out, doesn't have to be matter if it's touching each other, you just want it laid out. I need to get some more to finish covering my pan. So I'm gonna come back and grab some okra to put on my pan. Mix it into the cornmeal, get it coated really, really well because that cornmeal is going to actually help make it super, super crispy. Which, as you can see, I'm throwing it everywhere as well. So, I'm going to add some more cornmeal because I don't have quite enough in here. Add some more cornmeal to it because you want it very coated very, very well. So that, of course, it makes a mess. The way I'm doing it, you can always put a lid on it and just shake it really, really good until it's coated well. And then we transfer it again back over to our pan, making sure it's all laid out. Nice and neat. You want it laid out so it's a nice, even, smooth surface. You don't want them bumped up on top of each other because they will not bake evenly and properly. So you want to make sure they're laid out nice and even. As you can see, all of mine are laid out nice and even. They're not really on top of each other. Now, I'm going to bake this in the oven like I said, at 170 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. That's based on your oven as to what temperature, how hot it gets at that point. It also depends upon your altitude and where you live. So I'm gonna bake that for 30 minutes. On mine is what it takes, so I'm going to Set my timer here. Let it go up to 30 seconds. And hit start. Shoot. I hit seconds instead of minutes. So we'll start it at 25 minutes. 
I don't know why I went with seconds instead of minutes, so it was my fault. Ah, let me go back around again. So I'll put it at 25 since it's taken me a few minutes, and obviously <laughs> my brain's not functioning this afternoon. All right, start that, and I'll be back in 25 minutes to show you the next step. 